And the Johnson County Board of Supervisors is working on getting a battery powered commuter train to the corridor on a familiar track. Iowa's News Now reporter Nick L. Hodge live in the studio tonight with a preview of the proposal and the decision that's coming later this week. Mr. The Johnson County Board of Supervisors is now taking the first step to put the more than century old Crandic rail line to use again, this time for commuters after nearly 70 years of underuse. This is basically an out of the box sort of concept. The only thing that we would have to provide locally are the folks who drive the trains. The trains, the battery, the maintenance, that's all encompassed in the lease agreement with Pop-Up Metro. The Pop-Up Metro plan would repurpose battery powered trains from London Underground cars to carry around 200 passengers at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. The Cran decline already connects the corridor between Cedar Rapids and Iowa City, and the $5.7 million project to repurpose it is much cheaper than a competing commuter plan to spend $90 million on rapid bus transit. But that's just a hell of a lot of money to rip out perfectly good infrastructure that just needs a little maintenance work done on it. Local leaders are considering a three-year pilot program to see if people will actually use it. People have said, yeah, well, I'd use it. But in actuality, when it's there, will people actually use it? Supporters say it'll be a win for the economy while aligning with federal clean energy goals and decongesting traffic on I-380. It's going to spur a lot of development along the Crandic Road. It's just going to generate excitement, I think. But not everyone is sold just yet. Johnson County is not going to be the organization that funds most of this, and so I don't think Johnson County should be uh, the main decision maker. What I really want to make sure is that something happens. But for something to get done, it has to be it out that alternative bus route plan and collaboration will be crucial. This is honestly going to be the trickiest part of this, is that there are a lot of governments, educational institutions, private partners that all need to get on board. If you're talking sustainability like, can we maintain it, that makes the train a bigger question. But if you're talking sustainability in terms of environmental type and sustainability, uh, the train is better. So, you know, pros and cons both ways. The too good to be true part, though, is that we won't know until we try. The first step will be a non-binding decision by the board Thursday to signal the county's commitment to the project. If successful, leaders say the project could eventually link to the Iowa City Airport and usher in a wave of rail repurposing across the state and country. We have a really exceptional generational set of circumstances here that probably won't repeat again in my lifetime. And so I hope that we can all come together and, and do the work to see this thing through to fruition. Now, if they approve the plan on Thursday, the Board of Supervisors hopes to send letters and finalize stakeholder feedback by February, paving the way for deployment as early as 2026. Reporting in studio, Nicole Hajj, Iowa's News Now. Thank you, Nick.